Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I will show you how to create this interact dot so if you look at a specific object a interact dot will appear on the screen and it will smoothly fade in and smoothly fade out as you can see and this will work with any blueprint that you have or any objects that you have in the world so let's start the video So first of all, we want to create a new folder, so right click, new folder, and call it interact widget. Then go into the folder, and in here we want to create a user interface, so right click, user interface, and widget blueprints right here. Then we want to click on the user widget, and we want to call it interact dot. Now go into the widget. And now, if you're under the file, you want to search for a canvas panel, so canvas, and then just drag it out. So, what so we now, do now we can see the whole the screen. Crosshair. So, I found a Google on image, so just search for a circle PNG. And here is a bunch of different uh, uh, dots that you can have as your uh, crosshair when you look at something. So, just download it and then you want to import it into Unreal Engine. Once you imported your uh, image, you want to go to the interact dot again, and then you want to search for image. Then you want to drag it out, and then you want to click on this brush right here, so click on that, and the image will be the uh, crosshair. So just add the image, and then you want to scale it so it fits for your game. Now make sure to go to the anchor right here, so anchors, and then click on this drop down, and you want it to be in the middle of the screen. Then you want to position the uh, dot exactly in the middle of the screen, just like that. So this is maybe too big, so I will make it smaller, like that looks good. Yeah, that should work. So now we can compile and save. And now we want to make the animation for it to fade in and fade out. So click on the image. We want to go down to animations. Click on this add animation right here. And call it fade. Just call it fade. Now click on the animation. So now we want to add a new track. And the track will be the image zero because that is, that is our crosshair. Then click on this add track right here and want to change the opacity so click on this color and opacity and then it will automatically create a key for us. So click on this drop down right here and A is the opacity so change the A to 0. So as you can see now it is uh, invisible and I want it to fade in in about 0.25 seconds so I want it to take 0.25 seconds for it to fade in. So uh, take this little arrow right here, drag it to 0.25 seconds, and then set the A to 1. So now, as you can see, if we zoom into the crosshair, click on this play right here, you can see that it fades in. So now we have the animation working, so we can compile and save. So now we want to go up to the right corner, right here, to the graph. What's I'm doing here? First of all, we can delete the event pre-construct and the event tick, because we, we don't need those. Now, out of the event construct, we want to play animation forward. This one right there. And the in animation will be the animation that we just did. So, fade will go right into the in animation right there. Now we want to add a new custom event, so right click, add custom event, and call it remove. So this will remove the crosshair from the screen. So out of the remove, we want to get a branch, so branch, and the condition we will make that right now. So drag out the fade animation, 
this one right there get it and out of here we want to get animation current time and then from the return value we want to get the equal so it is equal and this value will be set as zero and this will go right into the condition of the branch so now of the true we want to play animation reverse so this will reverse the animation so it fades out instead of fade in and the in animation will of course be the fade animation now from the false we want to get a delay and the time will be set to 0.25 because the length of the animation is 0.25 seconds so i want to set the delay to 0.25 as well and the completed of the delay will go into the play animation reverse So now, after the play animation reverse, we want to get another delay. So get another delay right here. And the time will be set to 0.25 because my animation is 0.25 seconds. And now from the completed, we want to remove from parent. Just like that. So now the code in the widget is all done. So compile and save and close out of here. So what I want to do now is to go into the first person folder, blueprints, bp first person character, and then we want to go into the event graph. And now we want to get the event begin play. So search for event begin play. And as you can see, I already have the event, so I will just create a sequence. So if you also have the event begin play, you want to also create a sequence but if you haven't used the event begin play event before you don't need to add a sequence so now our the event begin play we want to create so create widget and the widget will be the interaction dot so interact dot right there and then we want to promote the return value to a variable so what you can do well right click on this return value promote a variable and call it interact uh, dot just like that once you've done that you can compile and save so what you want to do now is to find the empty spot and you want to right click and get the event tick then you want to drag out the interact dot get interact dot and then you want to right click on it and convert to validated get so this will create another kind of uh, get variable. So our is valid, we want to get a line trace by channel. And now we want to get a reference to our first person camera. So drag out the first person camera or whatever your camera name is named. And then out of here, we want to get world location. So it knows where the camera is in the world. And out of here again, we want to get forward vector. And the return value of the get world location will go into the start of the line trace. And then the return value of the get forward vector, we want to get a multiply. And then you want to right click on the B value, convert pin to a float. Now the value in here will be how long the line trace will shoot out, so how long the line trace will be. So set it to about let's say uh, 500. And now out of here we we'll get the add. And then you can just hold down alt, click on this line and drag there in there. So you make it a little bit nicer. And the return value of the get world location will go right into the A value of the add. Then the add will go into the end of the line trace by channel. So now it should look like this. So now we want to follow on with the code. So go here and from the out hit we want to break hit result. And then out of here to get a branch. The condition will be the return value of the uh, line trace by channel. Then click on this drop down arrow right here. So now we want to drag out of the hit actor 
so it hits a actor in the blueprint so it will actually show the cursor when uh, it hits an actor so drag out of hit actor and get the dust implement interface and now of the return value of the dust implement interface we we'll get another branch and then the true of this branch will go into the branch right there so just like this so now you want to drag out interact dot and you want to get it and from the interact dot you want to get the is in viewport and then from the true of the branch right here you want to get another branch and the return value of the is in viewport you want to drag that in to the condition of the branch just like this so now we want to drag out the interact dot again we want to get it and we want to drag out here and get and then drag out the interact dot and we want to add in viewport and the fault will go into the add in viewport right there so now we made it so if the branch is false we want to add the widget to the viewport so we can actually see it but now we want to remove it when we don't look at a, a actor so drag out the interact dot again we want to remove from parent and the false will go right into the remove from parent right there so now we are done with the whole code so we can compile and save but we need to select a interface right here so let's just create a interface real quick so go to the first person map go to the uh, interact widget right here folder and here we want to right click go to the blueprints and add a blueprint interface and call it interact uh, interface just like that now go into it and we want to change the uh, name of the new function to let's say interact inter interactable interactable so now compile and save we don't need to do anything in here so that is very nice so compile and save and close over here so now go to the bp first person career again and now you can choose the interface we just made so i called it interact interface right here so now compile and save and we can close out of this right here now we need to create the uh, widget so if we look at for example this door right here we want the crosshair to appear so go into your blueprint so your blueprint can be anything it doesn't need to be this door so go into your blueprint go to the class settings go to the implement interface right here to click on the add and get the uh, blueprint interface we made earlier so interact interface right there so now if we just compile and save and test it out so now if you look at your blueprint you can see that the cursor smoothly fades in and it doesn't fade out hmm. so i found the problem <laughs> Uh, it was actually uh, my mistake i'm very sorry so go to the first person folder blueprints go to the bp first person character and then you want to go to the interact dot uh, code and then you want to delete remove from parent so delete this and then our the branch right here from the false we want to get another branch and the condition will be re the return value of the is in viewport and then this branch the false value of this branch will go into this branch right there so it should look like this so now of the true we want to get a reference to the interact dot so drag that out get interact dot and now drag out the interact dot and remove and this event is the event we made in the widget earlier so of the true we want to drag that in to the remove so now if we compile and save and test it out so now if we look at the door it will fade in if we look away it will fade out it works perfect so yeah that is a, a very easy 
tutorial on how to make this uh, interact dot. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any problems, just type it in the comments. And don't forget to join the Discord. We have a big community over there. So if you just want to hang out or end the talk, you can do that. So yeah, that's all. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.